Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And thank you for joining me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we celebrate Yeshua, Jesus, the one who is and was and is to come. And there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And so today, brothers and sisters, we're going to look at two powerful stories in the Old Text. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Exodus, chapter 4. So to lay a foundation, we find that God establishes an everlasting covenant with Abraham and all his generations after him. He gave them all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession. And he said he will be their God forever. And God said to Abraham, the covenant that they shall keep is every male child at the age of eight are to be circumcised. And so now we will learn about Moses. And what has happened is God has chosen Moses to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt. And he has given him strict instructions and told him to pack his gear and go. And so we'll start reading at verse 20. Then Moses took his wife and his sons and set them on a donkey. And he returned to the land of Egypt. And it came to pass on the way at the encampment that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at Moses' feet and said, Surely you are a husband of blood to me. So he let him go. So brothers and sisters, God Almighty was prepared to kill Moses because he did not fulfill his end of the covenant. He did not circumcise his child. Lucky for Moses, Zipporah jumped off the mule and circumcised her child, and God let him go. So the next story we're going to read about is in the book of Genesis chapter 19. And what we find here is God is angry with Sodom and Gomorrah. The immorality is horrendous there. And so God is going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But Abraham interceded for his nephew Lot, and God has sent two angels to go and save Lot and his family. And so we're going to pick it up in verse 15. When the morning dawned, the angels urged Lot to hurry, saying, Arise, take your wife and two daughters who are here, lest you be consumed in the punishment of this city. So it came to pass, when they had brought them outside of the city, that he said, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you, nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountains, lest you be destroyed. Then the Lord rained brimstone and fire on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. So he overthrew those cities, all the plain, all the inhabitants of the city, and what grew on the ground. But his wife looked back behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. So brothers and sisters, what do we learn from these two stories? If God says do something, do it. And if God says don't do something, don't do it. So brothers and sisters, get right. God can take you out at any time like he did Sodom and Gomorrah and left Lot. So let us continue reading our Bible and praying up every day and keeping the love of Jesus in our heart and taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him and we will all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.